is 4,000 hours. Depending on operating conditions, it can be longer or shorter, ideally based on careful observations during earlier overhauls. The condition of the fuel injection valves is very important with respect to the reliability and the fuel economy of the engine. Dismantling of the injection valve. Remove the O-rings from the injection valve. Clean the external surfaces of the used nozzles with a hard brass brush. Steel brushes must not be used. Unscrew the end cup. Release the nozzle spring tension by opening the counter nut and screwing up the adjusting screw. Remove the nozzle from the holder by opening the nozzle nut. Take care with the fixing pins. Remove the needle from the nozzle. If the needle is sticking, do not use force because this often results in complete jamming. Immerse the nozzle in lubrication oil. Heat the oil to 150 to 200 degrees centigrade and normally the needle can be removed. If there is coke between the nozzle and the nut, it may be difficult to remove the nozzle. In such cases, place the nozzle with the nut and without the needle if possible on a soft support and knock it out by using a piece of pipe. Never knock directly on the nozzle tip. Cleaning of the nozzle. The nozzle and needle will be cleaned by a coke dissolving agent. Before inserting the needle in the nozzle body, immerse the parts in clean fuel or a special oil for injection systems. Always clean the orifices with the special needles provided. Checking of the nozzle. Check the nozzles ocularly especially for impact or a scratched needle seat face. Worn or damaged needle pins. Damaged body seats. Nozzle tips damaged by corrosion. Clogged nozzle orifices. Scratches or seizures on the needle sliding face. Sealing face against the nozzle holder. measure the uppermost needle seat diameter. The value must not exceed the nominal more than 0.5 millimeters. The nominal seat diameter on a Vasa 32 is 5 millimeters. Check the needle strokes of the nozzles which have been in use. A too long stroke may cause changes in the nozzle function, increase wear rate and in the worst case even a broken nozzle tip. The nominal value of the nozzle stroke on a Vasa 32 is 0.65 millimeters, and the wear limit is 0.7 millimeters. At the same time, also check the actual wear of the nozzle holder. Remember that any wear on the nozzle holder will increase the effective stroke of the needle. Should the stroke exceed the wear limit, it must be considered whether it is worth reconditioning the nozzle 
by grinding the sealing surface correspondingly or replacing the nozzle by a new one. Checking of the nozzle holder. Dismantle the adjusting screw from the nozzle holder. Remove the spring and push rod. Clean the nozzle holder together with the other parts carefully. Remove the O-ring from the adjusting screw. The O-ring must always be replaced. Dry the parts by blowing with compressed air. Also the channels in the nozzle holder. Check the nozzle spring. Check also the contact face to the nozzle and the bottom of the fuel inlet hole. The nozzle nut may hold some very hard carbon deposits inside, which should carefully be removed. Reassembly of the injection valve. Assemble the push rod, spring, and adjusting screw with a new O-ring to the nozzle holder. Lubricate the O-ring on the adjusting screw with grease and the threads on the nozzle holder and the contact surface on the nozzle nut with high temperature lubricant. When connecting the nozzle to the holder, the joint faces must be absolutely intact and clean. Make sure also that the fixing pins fit into their holes. Tighten the nozzle nut to 320 newton meter. Testing and setting with a nozzle checking device. A checking device working according to the hand pump principle is supplied with the engine. Connect the injection valve to the test pump. Make sure that the contact faces on the bottom of the fuel inlet hole and on the fuel inlet pipe are clean. Setting of the opening pressure. Set the opening pressure by turning the set screw of the spring and simultaneously pump the hand pump of the checking device until the pressure gauge indicates that the nozzle opens at a specified pressure. The opening pressure of a Vasa 32 injection valve is 350 bar. The opening pressure of the new nozzles or holders is to be set 5 to 10 percent above the instruction values. Check the needle seat tightness. Keep the pressure at about 300 bar for 10 seconds using the pump. The nozzle is tight if no drops are formed on the needle tip during this period. Slight humidity formation does not imply leakage. Check also if there is leakage between the nozzle and nozzle holder 
and at the fuel inlet pipe. Check the needle spindle tightness. Pump until the pressure is 20 bar below the stated opening pressure. Measure the time for a pressure drop of 50 bar. If the time is below 3 seconds, it indicates a worn nozzle, and it must be replaced by a new one. A time longer than 20 seconds indicates a fouled needle, and the nozzle must be cleaned. Check the spray form. Place a dry paper under the nozzle and give the pump a quick blow. Note the fuel spray uniformity. Check that all orifices are open. If the checks shown give satisfactory results, the injection valve can be installed in the engine. Otherwise, replace the nozzle with a new one. Disconnect the injection valve from the checking device and tighten the end cup to the specified torque of 200 newton meter. Put in new O-rings and the injection valve is ready for assembly on the engine.